Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are back with more RimWorld today, continuing our playthrough of the Anomaly in 1.5 update. And here we are with our colonist Han. Check her out. She's in a very strange place here, guys. She has entered the labyrinth. Oh my god, that's right. And we don't know how to get her out. Well, we have some clue, obviously. We need to come and study the obelisk that sent her there. The warped obelisk. Now, interestingly enough, she's pretty safe so far. We've only explored a little bit, but you can see uh, the first room she came into. We opened a few boxes. There were some body parts, a book here about noctoles, which she immediately started to read. You know what else I'm noticing too? This, this area is unroofed. Yeah, so she's actually exposed to the atmosphere, and I should have realized that since there are trees here too. So I was actually thinking of having her chop down these and maybe build herself a table, but I don't even know if that's going to be possible. Well, you know, she could probably manage it, but regardless, guys, you can see we've got a serious situation on our hands. Do we just have her stay put while we study the obelisk and try and bring her home? Or does she explore the labyrinth trying to find an escape herself in the meantime? I don't know, guys, but the colony moves along. I'll tell you that into weird and wild places. So let's get it unpaused and started and see where we go. You know, the saddest part of this whole situation with Han trapped in there, it makes me realize that our best social pawn is a level four in the skill. So, of course, that is due to our inhumanization meme here. Oh my gosh, which has basically swept through the colony. Most of the pawns have been dehumanized. And if they haven't been, well, yeah, there it is. Or I should say inhumanized, not de. I think there's a distinct difference between those two words inhuman refers more to like an emotional and psychological state where i think to say dehumanized might mean to reduce something below the human state physically or maybe just in a value type of way too you know in other words so we're getting a little philosophical there but a little ontology can't hurt I don't know, maybe there's just something about the new DLC that brings it out of me. But anyway, so the status is that Mercy over here is currently suppressing it. And then as soon as that's done, we're going to start studying it. I just don't want this thing to warp anybody else. I don't know. I considered the idea that having, you know, somebody here with Han would be a good thing. And it wouldn't be bad, but I really don't want to lose two pawns if this turns out to be fatal. Oh, look. Oh, she opened that other door while I wasn't with her. And there's a bedroll there. Well, Han, I won't disturb her this time, but we'll definitely set this for her. That might wake her up either way. Oh, we should claim it. That's probably why she didn't sleep in it. Yeah, that's yours now, Han. Go over there. Oh, man. So, yeah, this place is weird. Pretty creepy. I'm not going to lie. It gave me the chills when we first were warped here and I kind of zoomed out. Definitely has like memories of, you know, Pan's Labyrinth and things of that nature. But regardless, it's a strange area to be and she's going to be just wandering for a while. Uh, dang it. So we're dealing with major break risk. Our animals over here. Oh, that's right. We didn't even talk about this in the last episode, but we still got 3.4 days. This boy right here. Extreme blood rot. He might not make it. He might not make it. And it's really because we got no medicine. We're totally out of it, but uh, anyway, hey, if we fail the quest, it's not the end of the world. You know, there are really no downsides to failing quests in RimWorld, but there is going to be a downside if we fail Han here. So let's get her back. Oh, there it is. It happened. Our little Labrador detour died. And I guess I was wrong. There is a downside. You do get negative faction influence there. If, one of them dies, so that's unfortunate. I think the rest of them now are just going to get up and walk out since we've essentially failed the quest, right? Or did we? I don't know. Um, wait, I can just click to it from one of the dogs here. Uh, no, no, I can't. Yeah, so that means we failed them. Yep, they're just going to get up and wander out. Uh, oh, well, like I said, not a big deal. We'll get that faction influence back by just dropping some gifts onto the empire okay let's see what han discovers whoa what is that no way an endless pit i wonder if we can come back here we could throw our toxic waste into this right 
What if she falls in it, though? Oh, I can't interact with it at all, it doesn't look like. What does it say? A smooth-sided hole that extends endlessly downwards. Now, that just in itself is creepy, you know? There's something about the infinite that is creepy. All right, so as you can see, we're forcing doors open. She's just standing around bored. I think she's tired of reading the book. So let's let's see what's on the other side of these weird doors. What is it? Oh, what is that? Activated by proximity? A strange twisted sculpture shaped into a disturbing form and hums gently with strange internal energy. Huh, so has it been activated? I don't know. I don't think it has. Can we forbid these? I can't do anything with these, darn it. I'm hoping she doesn't wander back through here. Okay, let's let's backtrack. Let's come down to this one and see. Oh, we're gonna let her eat that meal first and then we'll check another door, not that one. Okay, and what's behind door number two? Nothing, <laughs> completely empty. Uh, dang it, let's flip back real quick. I just wanna show you this too, I noticed. Because, I've, like I said, I've been keeping this close eye on this thing. We can't study it for another one and a half days over here. So, who man, poor Han. She is going to be trapped in this weird labyrinth for a little while, I think. Oh, we got some big news. Han built a table. <laughs> no, that's not really it. But we did do the horseshoe pin, too. Um, she's got a little bit of wood, so... We can get that going for her. Make her a little bit more comfortable. I wonder, too, can she... I'm going to go ahead and have her build a roof just over this area. I don't really care if she spends a bunch of time, you know, roofing the whole area. But I don't know if this will work because these doors, I don't think, truly function. Ah, we'll find out. But regardless, check it out. It is now time to reform our religion. We just had a really good ritual and on top of it we've got a new person so let's first accept them i want to see who this is jump to location oh my god look at that hair i freaking love it gates bro you're gonna fit right in here let's look at your bio careful shooter uh, too smart and teetotaler not bad not bad i can always use another cook with mining proficiency yes please he's already scarred up welcome to the club buddy it's a twisted place to be but you are obviously you're gonna fit in right away man there was a cam update to the camera mod camera plus and it's changed my move scroll speed <laughs> i gotta get used to it i'll have to adjust it too oh and speaking of mods i'm gonna have to bring those up i did install two new ones as of this episode so we'll go over those real quick here shortly but first let's reform the ideology let's see here because there's just something i real specific i want to do to it and i don't know if it's going to work i'd like to add another mean here so i don't know if we can have that many doesn't need to be a big one. Is it this one? Supremacist. Yes. Cho Wait. Oh, no. It says choose at most four memes. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. So, hmm. in other words, then I would need to remove something to add a new one. Dang it. Well, no worries then. I'm not going to be removing any memes. I like, kind of like where we're at right now. And to remove anything would be pretty detrimental to our setup. So I'm going to leave it. Um, I'll go through the precepts, just see if there's anything. But it is kind of a shame now because we, we're just down a roll. You know, I have an extra sp roll possibility, but none of these memes bring any rolls. They should develop a special role for the inhuman or ritualist, or at least just give them access to the shooting and melee specialists. Well, I don't think there's going to be any changes to the ideology. I toyed with the idea of adding mechanoid labor enhanced, which would boost our mech's uh, work speed by 20%, which is pretty good. But that also decreases global work speed for like everybody else. So I think we're just going to stay as is. Again, I just really wanted to test it and see if we could add a fifth one. I wasn't sure, but now I know. So we're good to go on this. Of course, we're going to keep doing rituals and stuff, but 
but anyway so the two mods that I added nothing too game breaking certainly again I'm just going for mainly quality of life and some mods that add little tweaks and some crafting recipes so the first one we'll talk about is the mend and recycle mod so this one adds the recycling ability to break down like old clothes into like some scrap leather or whatever and also the ability to mend oh I think we need a separate bench for that yeah I'm pretty sure we need to research mending now there it is 500 it's a real cheap one but that'll open up a separate workbench which we'll then place in our production room and we can you know re uh, repair stuff like armor and anything so that's so those again I feel like that should be vanilla but hey Tynan is smarter than I am so we're gonna let him decide but the other one is another pretty simple one although this one does somewhat change the game in a sense so we've just added where is it oh I think it's under the power tab oh you know what no I'm silly this is another one we have to research first so it is RT mods there it is the shielding so we've now got the EMI or solar power solar flare shielding so if we build this place it down place this magnetic shield and we have a solar flare it will keep our electrical up and running at the high high electrical cost so we probably before we actually research and slap that down i'm gonna probably want to lay a couple extra batteries just so we have some extra juice because that thing is very power hungry once it gets up and running <laughs> check it out so we just got our newest member outfitted with gear weapons and such of course he picked out a nice little cowboy hat check that out do you see that Oh, there it is, his little mohawk. He must have had to cut some holes through that uh, cowboy hat to fit his spikes, man. Those things must have a lot of gel on them to stay like that. Damn, you go, Gates. I love your style, buddy. All right, we're popping another door open. Let's keep forcing our way through. Oh, she needs to eat. Uh, let's let her go ahead and grab that meal. Now, while she's doing that... We've got a void ritual going on, chronophagy. So Bella Rose is losing, I don't know, I think it was last time, what, like 12 years? So Gabru is, actually I should say, Gabru is losing 12 years and Bella Rose is gaining 12 years. That's better said like that. Of course, Gabru is our non-violent mechanator, so we want her nice and young and healthy. So these rituals take forever. Let's flip back to Han real quick. Okay, she, she ate. Let's force the door. Okay, and back to the ritual here see how it is you can see i've got some carpet laid out too well it's going to be laid in here eventually once we get our traps built there we go okay good i always like to watch those because i've had them go bad before let's just see 17 year what she lost 22 years oh <gasps> damn it she became a teenager again i didn't actually mean for that to happen but oh well that's pretty cool though. Nice. As long as she doesn't become a baby, you have to stick her back in the growth fats, right? Uh, okay, let's give Han a minute here and see what she pops out. Shouldn't be too long at four times speed. Oh, and I didn't check the roof here. This looks good. Is this a room? It is a room now. Sweet. Okay, so she's got her own little bedroom. Maybe we'll build a torch in there too so she has some light. Oh, now this door is open. Or, well, it can just be walked right through. All right, get ready. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, another empty room, man. This place is creepy. Whoa, check this out. So Han opened a new room. No, it's not this one. We did get a little bit of loot out of this one, but check this. Oh, there's another warped obelisk. Look at the floors. Oh, where do we get that pattern from? Oh, man. Okay, so is this like a twin? Oh, it just says activate the obelisk. Let's open these up. Whoops. Let's see. I don't know. She's not coming over here to like activate this by just like as a thing. Oh, look. Okay, we just discovered it. Han has discovered a large obelisk. It looks nearly identical to the one originally brought her here. Perhaps she should activate it. I don't know about that. Let's just see. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, pick that up. Put that in your pocket. Let's also pick up the shard. All right, so if we are going to activate this, I'm going to have her pick up 
a few things here. Definitely want the lungs. Let's see. I think that's about it. I want to find out more about this place, though. Like, I do feel like I want to send somebody back here. We've just barely scratched it. Less than half of this map tile. And there's some good loot here, obviously. So, anyway, like I said, though, we're I think we will activate this. Hopefully it sends her home and I'm not being baited here. And she's going to be, like, mutated or sent to hell or die instantly. I don't know. Well, it's not the most comfortable existence. And it's certainly a creepy atmosphere. But Han made it her home while she was here. And I'm hoping we can get her out now. So let's activate this thing and see what happens. Again, it could be bad, but it does say... <gasps> okay, she reappeared? Oh, thank God, where is she? You know what? How? Why do I think that this isn't the real Han for some reason? She's still messing her nose and she's still lactating. I didn't even realize she was missing her nose. I think we have a prisoner who's got one that can donate to her, so that's good news. But, well, I guess, welcome back, Han. I don't, like I said, I don't really trust that it's you. Did you bring back all the loot, though? Okay, well, we'll accept you inside. This psychic emanator, too, is huge. For anybody who's not aware, I don't know if they've changed it in 1.5, but normally you can't craft this uh, construction here or build it or anything like that. But like, again, maybe they changed that now with the new architect stuff. But this just, you place it, and it gives a good feeling to the mood, anybody who walks through it. So usually what I do with these, and I've seen many other players, do this too plop it down like right here so when we're standing on the front line for long periods of time facing down horrors and raiders and all that they'll be getting a permanent little mood buff well not permanent but a temporary little mood buff while they're up here so that's certainly what we're going to do with that and we're also going to keep a very close eye on this pawn right here oh what look at this oh so it's, it, this popped up moments after she came back. The Whirring Obelisk has returned to your abducted colonists. Shortly after doing so, it vanished. But be careful. The Obelisk may have returned other creatures as well. Oh, there's a flesh beast right there. Well, Han says he made it inside. Nothing's coming for her. I wonder if there's actually anything in here. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, that's unfortunate, though, kind of. I wanted to try and get, like, permanent access to the underground rooms or whatever. You know, the back rooms, whatever you want to call it. Oh, my gosh. Well, if it just was one little flesh beast, we should be okay. Oh, and you got a gun. There we go. While we're out here, let's just take a look and see if there's anything in this little structure. I'm not sure, but it's worth checking. Okay, Han has arrived. Let's see. Okay, I wasn't sure. I, I, um, yeah. Okay, so we're good. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. All right, just got a little trader show up. It's a tribal war merchant, so we're just selling them some junk. I'm gonna get most of their silver and thirty herbal medicine, so that's pretty good. We have like literally that's all the medicine we have. It's been a disaster, but um, now we have also got the notification that little baby software has become a child. So. Let's jump over here. You can remain a colonist. I allow you. We will not enslave this one. Go ahead. Cancel that regrowth. Oh, looks like you were having a tasty meal in there. Look at that haircut on you. Oh, <laughs> love it. All the way down to, well, down to her feet. Or where, where her feet would be if she was a real person. But anyway, so obviously a little baby. Let me look at her background. Yeah, dang it. I'm hoping for some tribals. I don't know why I assumed she would become one or even suspected it. But regardless, we've got... Um, I'm, I'm not letting the kids do any work either. No hauling or anything like that. That's going to be for the mechs. Their time is devoted strictly to study and whatever weird stuff they do in their free time. Ah, uh, what better way of celebrating Han's return than sacrificing one of the stupid goats that Randy sent to us. So we have brought the whole colony together for this bloody ritual, including our friend Gates down here with this spiky hair. Oh, okay. Now, we did actually, he just joined because of a ritual, too, that we did recently that was really good. So I don't know how successful this will be, but let's speed it up and find out. Oh my god, look at this. Just moments before it's ready, we get hit with this. The pit rumbles. 
Oh, that's right. What does it say? You can hear inhuman screams echoing from the pit. Uh, okay, something will emerge soon. This is the consequence. Whoa, watch out, guys. This is the consequence, obviously, of keeping a pit gate open on our territory. And in case you missed it previously, we did this so that we can start to dump our toxic waste packs down here. It hasn't been that big of an issue, and it's more or less just an experiment uh, recommended by commenters. So we're going to give that a try. But it is actually kind of cool because we can occasionally get some twists meat and stuff so these flesh beats aren't that bad we've got all our traps up and running again you can see I've, i'm hoping waiting for them to do this but anyway so let's go ahead and just speed this up because we're moments away from the ritual completion and we got to get to the front lines okay we just got the notification they are coming out oh and by that way that ritual's boring too just like i figured but <laughs> we've got a face off right here and no i don't have the trading spot i didn't do this intentionally these dumb dumbs just set themselves up right by the disgusting huge hole in the ground so really it's their fault but this could be a pretty epic battle and ultimately i think the flesh beasts are probably going to win Wow, I'm actually really glad they fought here, because that's a lot of Flesh Beasts, isn't it? I didn't look at the raid points on here. I don't want to pop up the window right now and block our view, but... Damn, this is a big one. Definitely the biggest Flesh Beast assault we've seen. But I'm going to be interested in those raid points. Ah, uh, there go the Muffalo. That's, that's the real prize right there. Oh, look at all that stuff. It's all right. No worries. I'm surprised they're actually sticking around. Usually when maybe the leader needs to be killed or something. Not sure, but yeah, I was going to say usually these muffalo will break for it and go to the edge of the map. Alright, yep, there we go. Doesn't even look like the uh, Flesh Beaster coded to attack the muffalo either. I remember the old days of RimWorld when... Uh, Van uh, caravans would get attacked like that enemies would go for the animals too and you could get lucky and drop like uh, you know a pack animal with just tons of stuff on it oh you son of a bitch you little son of a gun that's why we have the airlock okay good thank god i thought they were gonna make a way make a break right into the colony Whew, that was a close one wasn't it Oh yeah, this is interesting. Look, they're attacking the fox right here, but they have no desire to go for those pack animals. They definitely changed that, didn't they? Anyway, they're coming around the corner, so they'll be on top of us at any moment. Okay, they've turned that corner, and they're coming into the trap funnel. Looks like we're definitely going to have to face off with quite a few of them, but that's okay. Let's see how well we've designed this kill box. Oh, damn. Two of the turrets are still down. Well, again, that's just that bottleneck we've got with the steel. And we did get our psychic emanator in place here. I've also got the entire colony now set to a defensive position, including our nonviolent doctors right here who are standing by, ready to assist and grab anybody from the front lines who might get downed. But um, let's speed it up here real quick and get this going. Okay, get ready for hell. It's about to be unleashed. The flame turrets, my favorite. Oh, they don't even look like most of them are going for the turrets, do they? Some of them are. Yeah, some of them are. I was going to say, they're definitely... Some of them are definitely coming for our peeps, though. Man, uh-oh. God, we need some melee pawns. Oh, no. Tentacle blood. Get your tentacles out. Start whipping them. Oh, Christ. This is getting messy. Uh, that's okay. I have confidence. I should have popped some of the uh, go juice, but this is, this will be fine. Tentacle. Have an hour. Uh, can she fall back or do anything? Let's just hold up. I have confidence. We got flesh beasts on fire. Crap, how are they still coming through? Okay. Oh, colonist needs rescue. Good, good. See, that's... Good thing I didn't give her that go juice, huh? Alright, oh, she's crawling. Come over here, Gallagher. Well, we got a spare second. Rescue tentacle blood. Alright, there's a few stragglers, but we're most certainly going to be able to take those out. <laughs> Look at this little epic battle right here. 
Uh, nobody's in range. Hey, Gates, why don't you help out there, buddy? So, uh, that Fesh Beast attack right there definitely makes me rethink keeping an open pit gate on our map. As I've said before, I might just go down there and explore it and kill the dread meld so it collapses. It's fun and cool to do the toxic waste pack, especially if it does work, but uh, right now I don't like this. I don't like this at all. It was a little too close for me, so maybe that's my fault. We need stronger weapons or more turrets, but regardless, I think I could add a few more turrets like around here would be kind of cool, but I think that's going to do it for today, guys. We will end on a nice high note, at least what I hope is a high note. No deaths. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this series once again, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Of course, your comments are always appreciated and welcome. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you have not, and I will see you all on the next one. Hey everyone, I just want to give a personal thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their contributions help make my work possible, and I am tremendously grateful to them. I'd also like to extend an invitation to you to help support my work on Patreon as well. Your donations allow me to upgrade my PC and avoid the dreaded hardware despair. It also gives me more time to devote to new projects and create longer content such as live streaming. No matter what what you decide. Thank you for visiting my channel.